Hello everybody. So today I was going to talk about the, um, what do we call it, the 2020 qualifiers. Now we're hit, there's, um, just for people not aware, there's a 2020 World Cup coming up, uh, I think it's in October and November in, in Australia. Of course that's just a year after the last one, but that's just because of the whole global situation. And um, anyway, so they've got qualifiers. Now, a lot of people don't really care about qualifiers. They're like, yeah, who cares, who cares, who cares. But anyway, so I've decided to care this time at least. Mm. And um, so this particular qualifier, they're, they're having four people, or four, so four countries, I should say, not people, who are going to qualify out of, um, I think it's 16, and they're in two groups of eight. And so top two out of one group will qualify, and the top two out of the other group will qualify. So top two out of eight for each side. Now, the side that's on at the moment, the eight that are there, are Ireland, Oman, Nepal, uh, United Arab Emirates, or UAE, um, Bahrain, uh, Canada, uh, Philippines, and Germany. So I just thought I'd just sort of make a few comments about that. So um, they're in two groups. So one group has what was it? Ireland, United Arab Emirates. Um, I think it was Philippines and Germany. Uh, the other side has Oman, Nepal, uh, Canada. Oh wait, maybe that was Canada and Philippines. Yeah, whatever. And they had to have Canada there. Now it was quite interesting that I thought I thought Ireland would easily make it through on their side, and the next one's probably UAE, and who cares about the rest? But in their opening match, UAE actually defeated Ireland. Bit of an upset. All right. One of my little uh, cricket friends said, that, "Oh no, that's not an upset because UAE has beaten Ireland before." Still an upset. But anyway, perhaps not as big an upset. We always get have these little issues about whether something's really an upset. But anyway, certainly Ireland outrank UAE. Ireland are a test team now. Um, on the other side, uh, Nepal beat Oman. Now, they're both similar rank, so that's not as big as an upset. But Oman are the hosts of this tournament. So it's actually played in Oman. And that's a reasonable distance away from Nepal. So. Nepal should have been a, a significant disadvantage, but instead Nepal won. Now Nepal does have one player at least who plays um, in the Big Bash League, and I think also in the IPL, and that's um, Sandeep Lamachain. Now, I think that's how, how you say his name, but anyway. Um, and they, they can be really good, they can be really bad, and I've said that a few times now. We also saw Canada won their first match, but then in their second one against um, against Oman, which was on today, or at least my time today, um, Canada was doing pretty well. I think they got 155, and then Oman lost one early wicket, were well behind on the run rate, but then they ended up just only losing one wicket all up, as they had a big second wicket partnership. Nobody else got out, and they ended up just lifting their run rate towards the end and easily got home. So. It looked like Canada might win for a little while, but in the end, Oman won fairly easily. Not completely one-sided, but fairly comfortably, quite professionally. <coughs> so that's suggesting that it'll be Oman and Nepal as the top two teams from that group. And the other side, well, Ireland lost to UAE, as I said. They haven't actually played their second lot of matches, so... But at this stage, sort of expecting that it'll be probably Ireland and UAE. Now Canada was a chance of course to break into that top two on their side but their loss now means that they'll have to beat Nepal to be any chance. Now they can beat Nepal, certainly that's within the realm of possibility but I mean just because Nepal beat Oman and then Oman beat Canada doesn't mean that Canada can't beat Nepal. They certainly can. And so we'll and then they play semi-finals. So in the semi-finals, of course, the two winners of the semi-finals qualify. So effectively, the, 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 then the final is just the, 
bit of fun, it doesn't really matter. So it's the winning the semi-finals that actually matter. So you make it to the semi-finals, top four, so top two in each group of that. Make it to the semi-finals and then whoever wins that wins or qualifies. So Ireland are not out of it. In fact, they're probably going to finish second in their group unless they lose to one of the other teams, which I think is Germany. I don't think that's very likely. Um, what's the other one? I think it's Philippines. Um, not particularly likely there, but yeah, they they then have to win whoever they're up against in the semi-finals. Because at this stage, if they finish second, and all things being equal, at this stage they'll be facing Nepal. Now you'd usually think that Ireland would beat Nepal, but Nepal's a reasonably good side, so there is a chance that they would lose. And the other side could well end up being Oman versus United Arab Emirates. And that's a tough one. You'd probably think Oman might just get there, but they've been a bit funny lately. UAE could win. And it, 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 it's a tough one to decide which two out of those four. Of course, Canada is still a chance. Um, but it's a bit of an outside chance, and I don't really consider any of the others have much of a chance. Anyway, then there's going to be a whole other group, and I think they're playing in May, if I remember rightly. So a couple of months to wait, or three months to wait until that happens. But anyway, so a little bit of interest there, and I was certainly surprised that Ireland lost. Uh, Ireland uh, a test team, and so effectively they're, they're ranked 12th in the world. So they're being 12 test teams. Um, now their actual ranking in T20s is a bit below that. I think they're about 15th. But so we we end up with um, 14. No, hang on, 16. I think it's 16 teams that actually qualify for the World Cup, and only eight are automatically into the main draw. And then you end up with four more makers of the main draw after qualifying from the qualifiers. So you have 16. So Ireland on merit, on rankings, should be in the top 16, but not in the top eight. Um, so yeah, um, and they're also not in the top, I think it's 12, that don't have to go through these qualifiers. The top 12 are just there. So for example, we've got West Indies in the top 12, but not in the top 16. So this is for position 13, 14, 15 and 16. Um, yeah, so Ireland could well end up being Ireland and Oman or Ireland and Nepal or UAE and Nepal as the two there. And then, then you've got the other group and there'll be two out of that one they're playing in May. Um, and there's completely different teams there. I'm not going to go over that one now, but um, suffice to say there's just there's some different teams that are in the other qualifier. Um, trying to think which teams I think Papua New Guinea is one of them. Um, can't remember which other ones, but yeah. So certainly some interesting things that yeah. Poor old Canada had a bit of a bad luck today. Ireland's already in a bit of trouble, but they could still make it. And yeah, at this stage it looks like the semi-finals will be Ireland, UAE, um, Nepal, and Oman, and then we'll have to see who wins their semi-final a one-off knockout and we you know don't know what will happen there very tough to predict anyway that's it for me bye bye